Okay, I'm going to show you a couple of slice forms that I have patterns for. I have a pattern for this one, which was actually quite fun to make. It's pretty spiffy looking. And then this one you've seen before. I made this and brought it to class and everybody said they wanted to make it, so here we go. A lesson on how to make these. And my nemesis. The one that I spent a whole half hour on and could not get started for the life of me. And an idea for another kind. Kind of a landscape. Looks pretty cool. Okay, so I have patterns for three of them. I have a pattern for that first one that you saw, the one I couldn't figure out how to put together, and the one you've seen before. I have a couple of tips for you. After you cut out the general shapes and you're cutting out the slits, make sure you cut out a tiny piece of paper as well. Otherwise you're going to have a hard time fitting it together and it just won't be fun for you. So yeah, just make sure you cut out tiny little pieces and then pull them out. Look how fast I am at this. I'm a pro. I can't believe I couldn't figure out how to put the other one together. Then once you have everything cut out, just go ahead and start assembling, thinking about it. To me it wasn't straightforward, so I had to read the instructions again and look at the picture again, and then it started to make sense. So if it doesn't work out the first try, so what? Try again. You know things are getting intense when my face is in the camera because I'm looking so closely and trying to get it to work. We're almost done! Oh my gosh, we finished it and it's looking good! Can fold open and can shut. Awesome. And here is my nemesis, some sort of ellipsoid. As you can see, it's a, pretty much a 3D ellipse. And for whatever reason, I just could not get mine to fit together. What you see here is a video of me getting started and feeling pretty confident and cocky putting things together, laying it out like I know what I'm doing. Everything you see is sped up about 16 times. I, this is about 20 minutes worth of me struggling and struggling and struggling. So if someone can put this together and figure it out and make it look awesome, you are going to be my hero and maybe I'll just have to get you some amazing award. Continue watching me struggle and enjoy it. Even I am not perfect. And we're gonna stop with that. The last slice form I have a pattern for is this one, which you've seen around the classroom. As you can see, this one has two different colors. There's a very easy way and efficient way of getting two different colors. Find someone else in the classroom who wants to do the same pattern, have them cut out one color, you cut out the other, and then switch top and bottom. Or you can have one color like the one you see here. I'm not going to give away too much about how to assemble, assemble this one, I'm going to let you think about it, play around with it. So you can have fun assembling it. Right now it's about 10.30 at night, April 30th and Avengers The Age of Ultron comes out tomorrow. So that's all I'm thinking about when I'm assembling things. I'm thinking about Avengers assembling. Math is quite fascinating. I was reading more about the mathematician I was mentioning. He was Danish and he was born in December 1546. He was the one I mentioned about getting in a duel over a little mathematical argument and got his nose chopped off. Would it be worth getting your nose chopped off? Anyway, it was rumored he wore a gold and silver nose. Some people actually dug up his body and found out it was most likely brass. 
So I just wanted to clarify that a little bit. Alright, some of you will be thinking about doing your own custom slice form. And this is a great idea. This is a fun idea because you can really just create instead of following some pattern. But first, let me show you my attempt at doing the same thing. My idea was I was going to do this green grassy hill on a land of dirt, basically. However, I started cutting without really planning or thinking it through, and it didn't turn out quite like I hoped. A couple of things I learned from this experience that you can benefit from is if you're working with huge pieces of paper, or larger pieces of paper, it's not as rigid and it just doesn't look as good. So if you're going to create your own custom slice form, think about staying small. Because if you think back to the picture, that, first, that slice form fit in the person's hand was so small. And then mine is just too large, and so it just kind of flops around. So there you have it. You have a few options. You can pick a pattern. This one I have a pattern for, as well as this one. Lovely. And my nemesis, the one that I couldn't figure out how to put together, that's what it should look like. So if you try this one, good luck. Or you can create your custom slice form. Alright, let's get started.